Now, what I'm going to talk about, we're going to get into the competition belts now. Our, our good friend Ben sent the, uh, uh, see that? It comes in his own little bag. The Stan 21 uh, shoulder device. Now, this is now this is a competition, five point. You know, it looks like an octopus right now. Uh, but it's, off, it's, it's two inch. The lap belts are two inch. The shoulder straps are two inch. And it's a five point, which means you got one lap belt, two lap belts, one shoulder, two shoulders, and one submarine or, or crotch. Uh, now the the anti sub it, it started being anti submarine, like in Formula cars in a crash. If they only had a four point belt in the frontal impact, it would like slide down the submarine underneath their belts. So the 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 anti sub belt was to help reduce that. But also even more importantly. Uh, in sedans, that's not a big of an issue, but with, with your the lower belt, it really helps keep the belt centered low on your low on your waist, uh, so the belts don't creep up. It keeps your belt down, which is really important. And the next step up from this would be a six point, where instead of just one one uh, submarine belt, uh, that would have two that would and then and they mount a little bit differently. So th this is uh, this is a two by two. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of like I recommend if you're going to do a Hans device, you definitely have to get a two inch shoulder. Even if you get a three inch lap, you need to have a two inch shoulder. It just sits in there a lot better. And this is what's called a cam lock. It kind of just hit the button. Everything falls apart, which is pretty cool. And then just to put everything back in place, it's just a matter of a click. That's all there is to it. So just go right and click them in one at a time. And away you go. Now, what I recommend is when you're getting ready to go out, it's always better if you have somebody to help you. Uh, if you if your seat's on a slider, or even if you've got a uh, you know a power seat, I would put it back just a teeny bit from where you normally drive, and get the lap belts. Get the lap belts first. Get them absolutely as tight as you can get them. Uh, you cannot get them too tight. Then take your shoulder straps and get them tight. And then if it's a power seat, just move the seat up just a little bit. That, that gives you a, a, gets, gets more tension on the belts. Or if you've got a slider, just go up to the next notch. And that's what I do with my rate seats in the car and a slider. You know, I'll put it back and have somebody help me. It's you know, really hard to push it up that way. I'm super straight. You absolutely cannot get belts too tight. And the only thing that's, that's worse than not having a belt is having loose belts. Uh, they have to be tight. That's all there is to it. So you've got the, you know, we, we talked about the two inch and uh, the impact that we have that it just, it, I don't know if you saw this, this is like, this is like really good stuff. I mean, this is super high quality. Uh, I wind it up. But you can see that's just with the webbing and everything, they're really well made. Uh, it's got a high quality cam and uh, it's got easy, okay, easy shoulder. Tighten it and re release. Uh, you know, that's one of the things I used to hate is trying to get the the, the shoulder straps. Uh, if I forget to undo them, you know, when I come in and just unbuckle my belt, then you sort of have to undo them and stretch them out. And it used to be just a real pain, but with, with these types of, of releases, it's, it's really easy.